What is going on on the fitness coaches? Welcome to another episode of the Change Lives and Make Money Online Training Podcast. This is the number one show for online fitness coaches who are trying to grow a successful online business. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the five step checklist for a phenomenal written post. Now, before I get into today's episode, I want to share something cool with you guys and something special with you guys and something that is near and dear to my heart if you're in the 10K Coaching Academy. Um, so I don't think a lot of you guys knew this because I honestly forgot until uh, Jeffrey reminded me tomorrow, April 27th, is the one year anniversary of the 10K Coaching Academy. Pretty cool, right? Tomorrow, April 27th, is the one year anniversary for the 10K Coaching Academy. Now, the PT Domination has been around helping online trainers since 2019, but the actual 10K Coaching Academy, which is the program that we run all of our online coaches through, has only been around for the last uh, 12 months. We started the 10K Coaching Academy as soon as COVID happened because frankly, like when I was looking around at the other business coaching programs in the market, what I saw was way too expensive and a shitty delivery for lack of a better term. Like as in I pay $5,000 to $10,000 for this program and then I wouldn't get extra support or coaching or mentorship. It was almost like I paid uh, for the one-time course and then that was it. And I honestly, like I'm, I've personally been a part of a lot of mentorship programs and um, I strongly dislike when they're not being updated. And I strongly dislike when I don't get to communicate with the people that are running it and I get answers that I don't enjoy. So when I created the 10K Coaching Academy, my goal was to create the best business coaching program on the market, as in like the most up to date, like always being updated. Like we've got trainings on Clubhouse, TikTok, everything, reels, all of it. So I wanted the best coaching program on the market. And I also wanted it to be the best price because I think that a lot of people think that um, you know, price is a direct reflection of value. And so I think business coaches operate under the assumption that like they, they can charge, like if they charge more, the program's going to be better. And I think that's shit. <laughs> like, I think you can charge a lot of program for a lot of money for a program and it can still be shitty. Um, so I want the 10K Academy to be the best coaching program in the market. And I also want it to be the best price on the market. And I think we've done a really good job of that. And we're still working on it and we're still improving and like, we're never going to stop. And we're always like thinking about how we can uh, deliver more value to our students and how we can get more students to cross $10,000 a month. So I'm super fucking pumped because tomorrow is our one year anniversary for the 10K Coaching Academy. And so if you're in the 10K Academy, we're going to be doing a big swag bag giveaway. So we're going to be giving away uh, $400 worth of PT Domination merch and also uh, and also Amarok merch, so Cold of Silva's brand. Um, and if you are uh, not in the 10K Coaching Academy, we're going to be offering a scholarship to try out the 10K Academy for two months. Um, so all of the detail giveaway, all the giveaway details are going to be announced tomorrow. But I'm just super hyped that the 10K Academy has been around for a full year. It's almost like it was an idea that me and Cole had literally a year ago. And now we've been at it for like 12 months and it's fucking, it's lit. It's lit. It makes me feel really good. Um, okay. So let's get into it. Let's talk about written content. Let's talk about written content. Um, the analogy I'm going to give you guys before we get into today's podcast is the client that goes to the gym and does two hours of cardio and they're trying to lose weight, right? Like we all know that that's an inopportune way to spend your time and energy. It's like, if you're going to lose weight, you shouldn't go to the gym and do two hours of cardio a day. It's just not the, the best, most efficient way. Unfortunately, I see a lot of online coaches that are producing content on a consistent and regular basis. Um, and they're just, they keep producing content, but they never audit their own content. Like they never take a look at their own content and ask themselves the question, is this piece of content optimal? Is this piece of content going to attract clients? So if you're, you're, you can go to the gym and you can do two hours of cardio, but that doesn't mean that you're going to lose weight and you can post content on social media all day. That doesn't mean that it's good. Okay. So I'm going to give you guys a five-step checklist that you guys can run through. And I want you to use this checklist to audit your own content. All right. So after this, after this, uh, podcast. I want you to take this checklist and I want you to audit your own content. Can we all agree to that? All right. So point number one that you need to audit with your content is does my headline slap? Does my headline slap? Now, the first thing you guys need to look at is your headline. And when we think about like headlines and how important they are, like I've like, I don't know about you guys, but when I'm scrolling through Netflix or like, I still need to watch Netflix or Amazon prime or anything like that. Like I always look at the headline and the title of the movie to see if I'd be interested in watching it in the first place. 
I don't know about you guys, but that's what I do. So headlines are extremely important when it comes to writing your pieces of content because your headline is the first line that people read when they're going through social media. And so if your headline is boring or it's it's generic or it doesn't have any emotional like attachment or doesn't have any specific result that your ideal client would be interested in, then it's not going to attract your target customer. So your headline has to slap as in it's got to be something that your target customer is going to get some value from, or it's got to be something that is like controversial where somebody's going to go like, Oh shit. Like it's got to, it's got to make people like stop or be more interested or be pissed off or be excited or your headline has to slap. Okay. So positive mindset is not a headline that slaps. Motivation Monday is not a headline that slaps. That's like, right? Like you've got to get creative and 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 get more specific with your headline so that when somebody's scrolling through social media and they come across your piece of content, they're like, that is a piece of content that I need to read. Motivation Monday, if you fucking hate Mondays, is a headline that slaps, All right? So do you have a headline that slaps? Yes, or do you not have a headline that slaps? That's the first piece of advice that I'm going to give you guys when auditing your own content. Number one is headline. Number two, the second checklist that you guys need to run through when auditing your own content is avatar specific pain. Avatar specific pain. Now, when you guys are writing content, like you have to understand, like when you're writing content as a social, like as an online fitness coach, your goal is to attract online fitness clients, right? Now, all of us have a different market that we're trying to attract. As an example, Kirsten Martell, my fiance, was a teen mom, and you know, she after her baby, she struggled to like get her body back. And so she works with a lot of moms that are trying to lose weight. And so Kirsten Martell is never trying to attract bodybuilder dudes that are trying to like add size to their arms. And so when Kirsten's writing her pieces of content, she's writing content in ways that will relate to women that are trying to lose weight. Right. So she's writing content that are that is specifically relating to like women, like are like having a hard time looking at themselves in the mirror or um, struggling with balancing a busy schedule and going to the gym or uh, struggling with negative self-talk and some of the things that mom would say to themselves in their head. Kirsten's writing content that's specific to moms that are trying to lose weight. She's not writing content that is generic as fuck, as in like speaking to men that are trying to lose weight and, and gain size and women that are trying to lose weight and gain size. Like Kirsten knows who her avatar is. And so when she's writing her content, she's making sure that the content is speaking to people, to women that are trying to lose weight, to moms that are trying to lose weight. Ask yourself this question. Is my content generic? Like when I say generic, if you're just writing content about like a caloric deficit, as an example, and you're not talking about how the caloric deficit applies to like a woman that's trying to lose weight, like you're going to struggle because it's going to speak to everybody. And unfortunately, a lot of online coaches don't get specific with their content and they don't get creative with their pain points because they're thinking to themselves that if I write specific content, I'm going to pigeonhole myself. But the truth is when you write specific content, what ends up happening is you start resonating with people. And when you create resonance, not just with your avatar, you're also going to create resonance with other things as well. Here's a really simple exercise for you guys to get better at writing content to your avatar. Okay. So if you're in the Take a Coaching Academy, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. You know, the DM messenger process that I teach you guys. So in the DM messenger process, the question that we ask is like uh, relating to struggles Go into your DM messenger process, take some of the struggles that people have actually said to you in the words that they've said them to you and write them into your pieces of content. And so when you're in the DM messenger process, if somebody, if your avatar keeps saying things like I need to tighten up and tone my, tone my tummy, then you should be writing those specific words into your pieces of content, right? Because great marketing joins the conversations in people's heads. And so Point number two of this five point checklist is does your content have avatar specific pain? As in, does your content speak to things that your target customer is actually saying or actually feeling or actually thinking? And so uh, here's a, another funny statistic, you guys. Did you know that the market research industry is like currently exploding right now? Like as in market research, like people are paying people to take quizzes so that they can learn more about they're like about their target customer because it's so fucking important. And so market research means that like, if you're an online fitness coach, like you shouldn't just be writing content and just putting shit out there and hoping that it connects. 
you should be researching your target customer and you should be researching your avatar. And the easiest way to do it is just to go into some DMs with people that you've had and see what people are actually saying to you. And spend an hour going through your DMs and writing down the struggles that people said that they were struggling with in the words that they said that they were struggling with them so that you can write that into your content. And I guarantee your content is going to go to another level. But you need to write avatar specific pain into your content. And you need to not be afraid about pigeonholing yourself because as soon as you get emotionally resonant with one person, you also resonate with other people. But if you're afraid to get specific and so you're writing generic ass content, like you're not going to resonate with anybody, which means your content isn't going to invoke a response from anybody, which means you're not going to get any DMs and you're going to keep putting out content, right? So it's super important to get avatar specific pain points, okay? Number three, the third the third step on the checklist for a phenomenal, phenomenal written post is elements of storytelling. Now, elements of storytelling means that whenever I'm doing a piece of content, I'm trying to relate it to whether I'm telling a story about my target customer or I'm telling a story about myself. It's super important in terms of any well-written post. And I think that this, this applies to whether you're writing a piece of value content. So a piece of value content, when, like a element of storytelling, will be talking about the transformation going from pain point, as in like, you know, I was struggling with this thing to a vision where I'm like on top of this thing and I solve this problem. Elements of storytelling, if you're doing a before and after post, are going to be talking about how your client went from this struggle to this weight down. Instead of just talking specifics about the weight that they lost, talking about the transformation and what they went through. Elements of storytelling when you're writing a connection-based post means that you're sharing detailed parts of the story when you're writing your connection-based post. So you're talking about how you were feeling during this time or, or a specific day or a specific event. But the third check, uh, check mark on the, on the list of a phenomenal written post is does your post have elements of storytelling? Like, are you telling some sort of story with your post? Are you giving some details about an experience that a client was going through or how they felt when they signed up with you? Or are you talking about how this thing is going to make them that much better? So like, are you creating uh, elements of story with your post? You need to. So like facts tell, stories sell. It's one of the things I talk about in like one of my previous podcasts. And so when you're writing your piece of content, you shouldn't just be giving facts. Uh, your goal should be to tell a story with every single piece of post. I actually wrote a, I did a podcast about this as well, where I talked about a great piece of content tells a great story. That's one of the first modules in the PT Domination course. So does your content tell a story? Does the piece of content that you're writing tell a story? Number four, the fourth point on this checklist is avatar specific vision. Now, I think that a lot of online coaches spend a lot of time writing about pain points and struggles, but not a lot of online coaches spend a lot of time writing about visions. As in like, if the client follows your direction, what, like, how is this going to improve their life? Right? Or even visions like when you're writing a before and after post online fitness coaches, I think a lot of online coaches spend a lot of time talking about what the client was struggling with before they worked with you but not a lot of time spent talking about how the client's life has changed as a result of working with you. And so the, 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 the reference that I want to give you guys to write really great pieces of content is the rise has to be as big as the fall. And so when you're writing about at, like when you're writing about pain points and you're writing content, that's like speaking to your avatar's pain, you also need to write just as much about their vision, because if you spend more time writing about their pain in your content, than you do about their vision, then your posts are going to make people feel like shit. Does that make sense? So you spend more time talking about the down emotions rather than the, the up emotions, then people are not going to get a positive mood when they're reading your posts. When people read your posts, they should feel like pulled in both directions. They should feel like the pain of the struggle and then like the rise of the vision, like how good it feels to accomplish their vision. So you've got to have like pain points. And then you've also got to have vision and you've got to make sure that it's specific to your avatar. Again, as an example, let's use my fiance, Kirsten Martell, who works with moms that are trying to lose weight. Kirsten never talks about getting 22 inch arms because that's not her target customer. Kirsten talks about like um, being confident in your own skin and like absolutely loving the person that you see in the mirror and, and, and tightening up your waist and building a bigger booty, right? Like those are the things that Kirsten talks about because that's what her avatar wants. And so when you're writing your pieces of content, are you speaking to visions that your avatar wants? Are you speaking to goals that your avatar wants? Does that make sense? Really think about the target customer that you'd want to work with and make sure that your content is speaking to the things that they'd like to achieve. All right. So number five, the fifth step checklist for a phenomenal well-written post is this is one that a lot of people overlook is making sure your pick matches the mood. 
making sure your pick matches the mood. Now, I see a lot of online coaches making this mistake. If you're writing a piece of content about something that you really struggled with in your life, make sure that you're not putting a picture of you smiling, right? Because the pic doesn't match the mood. You got to get like a serious photo to match a serious post. If you're writing a post about how you're so inspired and you're feeling amazing every single day, get a post, get a picture of you smiling with like with like a bright photo, right? So make sure the photo that you're that you're choosing with the post matches the mood of the post. Like every piece of content that you write is going to have a mood, right? Sometimes you're writing about something that you're like so fucking pumped about, then the mood is happy. Sometimes you're writing about something that you're seriously struggling with and the mood is not. And so you shouldn't post a happy photo with a dark mood. It doesn't really like the contrast doesn't make sense. If you want to create impact with your post, then the post should match the mood. Um, you guys should go look at my uh, uh, Instagram feed right now. Actually, I wrote a post that was titled, uh, what was it? Monday, generate fucking momentum. And then look at the photo that I chose with the caption. The photo that I chose is like literally me like screaming. It's like, ah, like, like super intense with the caption, which is also super intense, right? So the photo matches the mood. And so when you're writing a piece of content, you need to make sure your photo matches your mood. Okay, so let's quickly recap, all right? So we're doing a five-step checklist to make sure that your guys' content is amazing. Don't just post content for the sake of posting content. You really wanna have a purpose with your content and you wanna make sure that like every piece of, every piece of content that you post should be attracting clients. Like that is the goal, right? So I want you to take this checklist and go to your content right now and ask yourselves this question, these questions. Number one, does my headline slap? Does my headline slap? Does my headline like invoke an emotion? Is my headline like, does it, my headline draw people in, right? So does the headline draw people in? So number one, that's that's the first thing. Number two, do, does my content have avatar specific pain? Think about the target customer that you wanna work with and ask yourself the question like, what are they struggling with? And if you don't know the answer to that question, then you should go into your DMs and look at the last 10 to 15 people that you've talked to that have had struggles and write down the language that they actually used when you ask them what they're struggling with. Like write down the specific language. And if you can write that language into your post, you're gonna start to attract more of your target customers. Number three, make sure your post has elements of storytelling. Facts tell, stories sell. And so when you're writing content, you wanna be telling a story about the transformation that your client went through or telling a story about the experience that you went through or, or even in a value post, like trying to tell a story about how this would apply to your life. If you can use metaphors and value posts to get your point across, it's even better. So your post should have elements of storytelling. Number four, avatar specific vision. What that means is like making sure that your content speaks to the goals, dreams, and aspirations of your avatar. Right? So think about the target customer that you want to work with and make sure that your content speaks to that person. And number five, making sure that the photo matches the mood. And so if you have a, if you have a happy post, make sure there's a happy photo, right? If you have a, 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 a post that's a little bit more intense or a little bit more raw or a little bit more serious than having like a, a photo that represents that. For me, I had a post that was like super like, ah, like let's get your fucking week started. And I'm like screaming in the photo, making sure that the photo matches the mood, all right? So thank you so much for tuning in. This is the Change Lives Make Money Online Trainer Podcast, the number one show for online fitness coaches who are trying to grow a successful online business. If you got value from today's episode, I would appreciate if you could screenshot any podcast episode, share it to your Instagram stories, tag me at bmarkfit, and let me know that you're tuning in. Peace, love, and protein. Have the best day of your entire life, and we'll talk to you soon. Peace.